into the skill. Well, that's what I mean. I spoke about this last night in a meeting. It's about what mindset the players have turned up with. This is all about mindset. It's all about we know what we've got to do. The players look engaged. They look like they're they're in the right mindset. I think we need to carry that through tonight's training, and then it's over to the players. Um, and you know we can help them through the game and the games because we've got three games. And uh, I just think that the players know what they what's expected of them. And there's a, probably a slight, I don't know, anxiousness about them, which is good uh, because they're playing against a good team, but we are on home turf. So, yeah, that, the mindset is key. And I think the players' mindset is good. All right, I'm not... Finally, yeah, go ahead, Robert. Finally, for me, confidence-wise, just yes, playing at home. Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? I mean, you, you've, you spoke about mindset just earlier, and the mindset is we need to be confident about what we're doing. We can't worry about what the Mexicans do. We've just got to look at their soft targets, see if we can attack them, and, and make sure that we're confident in, in um, being hard not to beat. I mean, Mexico will be thinking the same thing about ourselves. So it's very much about on the day. Uh, the team that wants it the most, and uh, if we can, you know, we know what we've got to do. All right. So, can we have one? Thank you, thank you coach. Thank yes. you, man. thank you, Robert. Can we have one other, one, one other person stepping up? Is that uh, um, yes, Scott, Scott Livington right. Scott? Yes. Livingston. Yeah, yes, Mr. B. Good morning. Morning to coach. Morning, Livingston. Um, <laughs> Yes, coach. Um, we are. I, I know your experience. Um, the, the, the team having no fans, having fans, and now back to no fans. Uh, how has that affected the players? And, and how are you trying to motivate them in terms of playing without any support in the stadium um, on, on, on tomorrow? Well, it, it's about knowing the support. We know Jamaica's behind us, we know the public want us to win this game. We know the public wants us to do well. So the fact that they're not there, we can feel their spirit. It's about, we know the public is our 12th man. We know they can push us along, but because they're not there, we have to carry their, their spirit with us in the game and know, you know, I've got to motivate the players by just keep reminding them of the people, the people's support. We've got people in the hotel saying, we really believe in you. Yeah, the players wouldn't have taken the trip. The, you know, a lot of a lot of them have taken aeroplane trips to come here. They've got to make sure that we 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 are focused and motivated on the on the task at hand. And if we can do that uh, and get into the game and find a rhythm and be expressive with our play, we'll we'll be okay. How uh, 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 much have you empathised the importance of winning this game for the group, uh, um, coach? Uh, well, I've, I've, I've definitely made the point of that we've got to take one game at a time and we've got to be hard to beat. Now, winning the game, yes, is really important, but not losing the game is, is, is quite vital to what we're doing. So it's really, really important that, yes, we want to win every game that we play. The, the type of coach I am, I want to, I play to win. However, you know, during the, during the game and during the story, it could it could easily change so yes they, the players already know you know the people are born winners and the players already know how what we need to do and what we want to do like we say it's about going out and executing the plan in 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 the way how it was set out to be and then having thinking players who can adjust and adapt to what the game gives them all right mr scott um, coach, we are not. Yeah, one more is Abele. Mm -hmm. Getting uh, the team to click, but we're playing expansive football is something that takes time to work. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think it would be a good backup plan to have Mr. Grant in your squad just to say somebody you can call for? And, and, and. I didn't hear the last bit, my friend. Um, would it be a good plan? I 
in, in case the, 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 the offensive, um, expansive football does not click immediately for the team? Well, I mean, you, you say expansive football. I mean, we've had, you know, I had a week with the, the team against Peru, and I think in the first half you saw uh, the, the, the benefits of having a week. I've had two hours, uh, or, or will have had two hours with this team. So it's difficult for a style of play to come out. I can encourage them to get the ball down and play. Um, the backup is, there's lots of other people to back, back people up. It's just, I've got a squad, picked a squad, and I believe in this squad. And I believe that players can back each other up. Like I said at the start of the interview, we've got players who can play in different positions and do a, and do a job for the team out of position or in position so we've got different we've got different choices and options that we could do you can change the shape um, and still have effective players in your team so yeah I mean Grant is a big miss for us as is Watson as is everybody else we just need 11 players first and foremost and then 23 who can be called on who can do a job all right Scott thank you Let's move to Felix Zapata, Mr. Zapata. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, hello, uh, Paul. Uh, Felix Zapata from Reforma newspaper from Mexico City. Hi, uh, I want to know how do you expect Mexico after they lost their, their last two games uh, the, the last year against Canada and the United States. How do you expect uh, the team and uh, for you, which is the most uh, dangerous player that Mexico has? Well, you know, there's, there's a few Mexican players that I'm looking forward to not seeing. Um, but, you know, they, you've got your Jimenez, you know, the, the, the Mexican team is, I think, as a, as a team, the movement and the rotations that go on in their team are very good. Um, I think a Mexican team are going to come, they're not going to want to lose. But they're also going to want to win this game as well. I think they probably will see the game as being winnable, but they, they won't want to lose. They're probably going to have the same attitude as ourselves. So it will be a tight, I feel it will be a tight affair, um, but we'll respect the Mexicans and what they bring. And I would ask my team to make Mexico respect what we bring with our energy and with our rhythm and with our desire. Um, and obviously the fact that we're at home. All right, let's move to, is that Brian? I saw Brian Lewis hand earlier, Brian, Brian Lewis? Mm, no, it's okay, I was going to ask the question and feed So, um, it's okay though. All right, anybody else? Any other question? Uh, who is this? Sports down the sports. sports down the middle. Let's let's hear you. Go ahead. Yes. Good morning, coach. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, what's the up? Um, I don't want you really to have the approach, but are you looking to play a counter in game against Mexico? Well, there are five moments in football, right? You're either attacking, defending, you're transitional, which means you're um, having the ball to not having the ball, and then you're either not having the ball to having the ball. So, and then there's a set pieces. So the game will be, you know, a lot of counter-attacking, I'm expecting. So I'm not planning to counter-attack, but I've had to plan to counter-attack. And I expect that Mexico will be the same. They're very good at counter-attacking if they're if they're under pressure. Um, and we've tried to get our team to be just in the knowledge of all those five moments. So when we're attacking, we've got a plan. When we're defending, we've got a plan. And then in the two transitional moments, we we want the players to be able to know what they're doing in those moments and be prepared for all the five moments in the, in the game. Does that answer your question? Yes, All right, let's go to Manuel Medina. Manuel Medina. Hello, coach. This Hola. is Manuel Medina from Village Sports uh, from Mexico. Hola, uh, Manuel. Already Hola. talked a little bit about uh, Raul Jimenez missing uh, the game. 
but can you highlight uh, other players? Because uh, Mexico has been having trouble uh, with the attacking players, with Don Raul Jimenez, with Irving Lozano being uh, out of uh, some uh, months, inclusive last last year. Can you just tell us a little bit about more about the attacking well, uh, positions of Mexico? What did you expect? From these teams. Yeah, I expect the the, uh, the Mexicans to attack in wide areas. Um, I've watched them a few times. I've watched them against uh, different teams in the, in the you know over the over the last year. I watched them a lot against the Americans, and the two wide players are very good. Uh, you know, the, the Mexicans get the ball; they possess the ball well. And it's not even so much individuals I want to talk about. It's the movements of Mexico. They they're comfortable in possession. They rotate. They like to drop people into defence to, to try and build their attacks. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're comf all comfortable on the ball. They like to get their full backs on the ball. So we've got to prepare for that and not be surprised by that because Mexico can play some very, very quick attacking football. And we've got a lot of respect for them. So the two wide men are, are people who have probably got to keep an eye on. However, you know, you could just go around. You know, the goalkeeper can comfortably play out from the back, and he's got a good range of passing that we've seen. And uh, two centre backs, when when they pass the ball early, they can provide a problem for you. So you know, we've got to be aware of, of, of all the players. I think. All right, thank you. Let's go. We have three more questions, and we're we're, we're going to close after three more questions. So let's go to. Jerry Main, Jerry Main Brown, I think it is. Jerry Main. Uh, thanks, sir. Uh, good morning, coach. Good morning. Um, is, 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 every member, is every member of the Jamaican um, team on the island? Because we understand that uh, the newcomer in Kevin Stewart hadn't arrived as yet. So just, just checking to find out if every member of the squad is on the island. By the end of today, every member of the squad will be here. And we've had a, a good training session yesterday, and we'll have one again today. And uh, it's been, you know, we can look forward to, to seeing 23 players come tomorrow. All right, thanks, Lord. You're welcome. All right, let's go to Brian Lewis and then Daniel Wheeler. So we have two more questions. Brian? The, the, the fact that they replaced um, a bit more who oh, wasn't getting the best of results and coming in now to start with the first game and everyone expecting this to go the way they wanted it from the beginning and with not much time and matches to go, does it add the extra pressure on you to, to go out in the first match? Uh, that's a good question. I think uh, the emotions of of me being successful with the team as a player makes me want to really be successful as a coach. I think I, I don't think I can show that show that pressure to the players. I must shelter the players um, from the pressures of what the job is. Uh, I, I don't think that it, I, I don't feel daunted by it. I really want to do really really well in this team. I think um, it, it comes with just encouraging the players, but we are where we are. And you know we, we, we face the moment of truth soon enough. We've just got to give ourselves a chance to be able to live towards the end of this this campaign. And um, I, I, the, the players just I think that's the part what the players need to know. And so yeah, it is there, you know, there, there is pressure. Mr. Wayne, you have it, yeah. There is pressure, uh, but Mr. Reed. It's, but Mr. Reed, can you can you mute your mic, please, sir? Mr. Reed. Yeah, go ahead, Paul. Yeah, so there there is pressure, but um, you know I'm looking forward to it because it's a healthy pressure. All right, let's go. Uh, we have one more question before we finish, and that's from Daniel Wheeler. Coach Daniel Wheeler from Wheeler Sports. Um, okay. One of the uh, key additions to your to your squad is um, Ethan Pinnock, and also Daniel Johnson. Has has that been um, in the lineup um, for either the first, either the last two or the last previous um, cycles? 
um, what do you what do you see from them to feel that this is the right time to recall to recall them into your squad, and what and in, and in terms of their you know commitment to uh, um, to the to the efforts, um, even though you have six games less games to go and the situation that you're in now. 